This is Star Wars The Clone Wars, Clone Commander Colt, also known as Red Leader Arc Trooper. The figure is part, I believe, of the third wave of 2011, and here is the rest of the assortment. Alright, if you already have the four-pack of the, uh, the Clone Wars... Um, our troopers, the, the four pack that Hasbro released, you will recognize that this is the same mold of two of the figures. Um, so, congratulations, Hasbro, for milking yet another wonderful mold. And I have to say, folks, this is one incredible Clone War, uh, Clone Trooper mold. Uh, I can't remember which episode he appeared in. It was Camino, I think. Defend Camino. I can't remember. But uh, really, really loved the way the Art Troopers look. And if you're a big fan of the Art Troopers and a big fan of Clone Wars, you've got to get this figure. Um, I wouldn't get, go as far as getting it off eBay or some scalpers. Just wait for it on retail. I'm sure you'll find it. Uh, sooner or later, your stores are going to restock it. Just be patient. Like I always said, I never buy anything off eBay. I just be patient and, and, and just, just wait for it. Your stores are going to get If you can't find it in your stores, go to another state, go to another country, whatever, have, have a friend, keep a lookout on it for you, but get stuff on retail. Okay, on to this figure. It is a Galactic Battle game card, game card figure, and it has a Battle game card, a base, and a die. Uh, some fantastic artwork. Still has the old packaging. Um, on to the figure itself. Let me just put the packaging aside. Uh, it's got some pretty decent articulation, thank God. Uh, it's got a ball-jointed neck. Sadly, the, uh, the the helmet is not removable. from. There's no clone trooper head. The, the pauldron is removable. The backpack is removable. So that's pretty cool. Very nice detail on the backpack. It's also the same backpack they used for the art trooper set. Uh, he's got a soft, rubbery kama, kama uh, that... Uh, comes with uh, he also comes with two uh, blaster pistols that fit snugly onto the holsters, which are a little bit loose now, and softer, which is nice. Articulation's got a ball jointed neck as you have shown you, ball jointed upper torso, ball joint, ball hinge, uh, uh, shoulders, ball hinge, elbows, and just a swivel wrist. Now this one's pretty loose. I don't know why. Swivel wrist, that's okay. I don't need a ball hinge wrist. Uh, swivel hips, ball hinge knees, and thank God, ball hinge ankles. So you can still get him in such decent poses. We'll just do it this way since the, the peg holes are, are on his toes. It doesn't tip off. Okay, um, he also comes with this... Uh, okay, <laughs> some degradation right there. Uh, this bazooka, on mine it doesn't it doesn't fire. I don't know why. Anyway, whatever. Uh, I don't really need it. Why does everybody have a bazooka? Only Captain Rex doesn't have a bazooka. Well, he has that rifle, so it doesn't really matter. So very very cool. I like the paint apps on this one. Uh, almost everyone I saw on the shelf had decent paint apps. Hardly any. Uh, quality control issues. So well done, Hasbro. I really like it. I wish your Marvel Universe team uh, w w would use the same um, t kind of quality control and quality assurance on the paint apps that they have on Star Wars figures. So very, very nice. Must have, definite must have for all you Clone Troopers uh, and, and Clone Wars fans out there. So, that's my review of Clone Commander Colt from Star Wars The Clone Wars. He is CW number 52. Now, before I go, uh, I wanted to just give a shout out to um, this, to a loyal subscriber, somebody I met on YouTube. His, his user handle, uh, his handle on YouTube is E9664. His name is Basti. He's really a great kid. Been a loyal subscriber. Uh, He's into Star Wars. I oh, know not Star Wars. I don't know if he's into Star Wars, but he's into a lot of Transformers, maybe some Marvel, maybe some Star Wars. So anyway, he decided to give me a bunch of stuff. Uh, very nice of him. So thanks, thanks very much, Basti. Really appreciate it. He gave me this uh, really cool uh, Lego Clone Trooper pen. Um, he hasn't used this. He has never used this, uh, as he said, as he says. It's very cool. Uh, it's got a nice grip on it and has like a Lego Stormtrooper on top. So very cool. Also sent me one of these. These are, I think, toppers from Jollibee. They're a Jollibee Happy Meal. 
Uh, over here in the Philippines, Jollibee is like the number one fast food chain. It's a Darth Vader. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it's a pencil sharpener or a topper. I don't know. But it's a nice stand, nice something to put on your desk. Pretty cool. And last, he sent me another, yet another, um, uh, an R2-D2 uh, stand. I don't know where it, he got it from. It's probably another Happy Meal or Jollibee Kitty Meal item. Or, uh, uh, or, or from another figure. Anyway, but very cool. I don't have a lot of R2-D2, so it's very nice. So Basti, thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks very much for, for your loyal support and uh, for giving me a bunch of Star Wars stuff. All right, so there you go, folks. Uh, if you want to know my, late, my latest toy purchases and upcoming reviews, please follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash fxfriends. There you go. Thanks for watching.